Hi Leo and welcome to your spirit guide messages for February 2020. I'm going to pull a card for your internal reality and a card for your external reality to start the reading. So let's see what your spirit guides want to talk about in both scenarios. Okay, well there we go. Alright, so internally we have inner harmony. Nice. You are tempered and balanced through most of February in your emotional body, in your mental body. Next out for external, oh, you've got windfall. Yay, Leo. I'm happy to see this. You and Taurus, so far you're my fifth reading, have different readings. It's like Aries, Gemini, and Cancer all had like the same reading, but you and Taurus, you are on a different like playing field, and I love it. Leo, this month of February is good for you, and I love that even in this card, look at there's little hearts. February is the month of love, and um, you know, you are just going to be in those vibes. Things are going good for you. You're feeling happy. You're feeling at peace. You know, things are just working out, flowing. You're in that, that period of flow instead of the ebb in February. And then external, we have this windfall. So Leo, um, that could mean a lot of different things, you know. Um, obviously, most of us think of a windfall of cash right away, and that could be the case. But um, this windfall, to me, it feels more about something that you really need, or um, it could even be, you know, like a conversation that you've been wanting to have with somebody. It's like this windfall is magic to you. It's a wish for you. It's something that you've really been wanting to happen for you or take place in your life. And boom, here it is. So let's pull some scarabs and um, clarify these a bit further. Oh, so you guys have the pyramids coming out first. And, uh, you know, this is very interesting because this is all about exploring the past, Leo. So for many of you that have been in the struggle about something from the past, I do see that healing, that clarity and that understanding taking place in the month of February. Or for some of you, this could be like a return or reconnection to something from your past that you've been in discord about. Okay, so let's um, either way, it's a good thing. Ooh, and next out we have the cobra. So there's been an element of mystery and the unknown going on with whatever this is about the past for you. Next out is, okay, so we have the frog, which is all about some magic. Oh, Leo, this is so good. Um, I see your relationships, your connections, friends, family, coworkers, those of you in romantic connections, it's just a good time for you, all right? And something from the past is coming back to you. And we do have Mercury going retrograde in February, moving through Pisces back into Aquarius, which that is a big time reassessment, reevaluation of something that was very significant to you. There was a, a soul lesson attached to it. And you may have been very out of sorts about, you know, whatever this is, just depending on your own personal life and circumstance. But now, Leo, just the way things are playing out in February, whether this is something that physically returns to you or you're finally getting the answers and the healing that you need to let go and move on, you are coming into a place of harmony about the past, okay? General reading, so that's going to work out different for all of you, but who doesn't want that, right? We all have some emotional baggage and things that are inside of us that we struggle to understand, accept, or overcome. And that's finally taking place for you, Leo, in February. And that's beautiful. Let's pull some um, scarabs for this windfall. Oh, you've got the lotus. So there is an awakening and expansion going on here. Next out is um, the Ankh. So this is enlightenment coming through the answers, the clarity. And lastly, we have, ooh, we have the Sphinx, Leo. So you've got the pyramids and the Sphinx and look at, they mirror each other. So the, um, 
you are going to get answers to those questions that you have put out to spirit, that you've put out to the universe, waiting on an answer for somebody, waiting on a conversation, you know, whatever it is, this is attached to a question that you've asked or, um, and it could be in real life or to spirit, you know, this is a general reading. And here it is mirroring the pyramids and it's attached to the past and now in the present the answer is finally coming into the mystery here's the mystery and the awakening through the ankh so that also uh, mirrors each other and then you have the frog and the lotus flower which is magical spiritual awakening acceptance happiness flow harmony things feeling good for you especially in the external world equally to the internal world so that is a rarity okay so across the board leo so far this is such positive energy and again it's attached to the past and i feel that mercury or mercury retrograde in pisces has something to do with it but this is positive it's liberating it's freeing answers clarity or reconnection um and this attachment of something from the past could be something that you really wanted to happen and work out for you but it just didn't the timing was off and now here it is returning um in your present or finally you taking stock of the way things are in your life now and coming into a place of gratitude happiness and harmony that what you were hoping for in the past didn't work out because it had it you wouldn't be able to be experiencing all of this energy through February that you are and you're happy and it's what you want, okay? Answers to questions coming in, alignment, the mystery is finally solved. So let's pull some tarot. The magician yay so you got magic twice leo and however this is unfolding it just brings you so much joy and it's like that moment where it's like oh man this is too good to be a coincidence like this is too magical it's like spirit has heard me and is answering me next out is judgment yes that's a very good card to come out next and now we have the king of chalices the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so potential people. Uh, what we have here is a water sign, so potentially Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces could be involved in all of this. However, I see this more as your inner harmony through that King of Cups where you're just balanced, you're wise, you are not easily triggered, you know what you're doing, you know where you're going, you're feeling very confident, and you're feeling the magic um, of the universe working with you with the magician and the frog here and judgment you know there's an element of karma attached to this and karma doesn't have to be a negative bad thing it's like everything that you've been going through you're finally expanding into the evolution that you've achieved through your struggle through your challenges through your mistakes through your lessons it's like everything is balancing out for Leo and the danger feels far away you feel like your head is above water that you finally have the upper hand and you know for many of you it may felt like you were spinning your wheels or the situation was never going to change no matter what you did and now boom here's February and everything's starting to change for you and your mind really um coming to different conclusions and seeing things from a much different perspective which adds to this inner peace and harmony that you are experiencing all right let's pull some more tarot to further clarify six of swords yeah, moving on, things getting much better for you, especially in that mental and emotional body. We have the Five of Swords under this judgment. So, um, Leo, also with this, you know, um, this heavier energy that I feel right here, 
um, through this card has a lot to do with the past and the confusion and um, what didn't happen, you know, however that resonates with you. And now here's that final understanding of the why or, you know, the timing finally being right in the now, in the present. Under this King of Cups, we have the Empress coming through. So that's a very fertile, abundant energy, very solid and stable energy as well. Under the Seven of Wands, we have the Nine of Cups. And last, under the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Cups. Leo, this is happiness all the way around. Um, with this windfall, some of you, this could definitely have to do with like resources or money of some kind. Um, this could be money that's owed to you. Um, you know, maybe for some of you, this is like a tax refund and you're getting back much, much more than you thought you were. Or maybe um, your company in February does reviews and raises and promotions. Um, you know, some of you, this could be a gift from a family member. You know, so that windfall, some of you, this is about money material or resources and you're very happy and that might be what makes you feel like your head is finally above water because you don't have certain financial worries or concerns that you were in the past okay so if it's around finances there is an improvement to that leo for some of you out there in february for sure okay um but for the majority of you this feels more attached to the past where you're finally getting the answers coming into harmony and acceptance and healing and moving forward and you feel very happy and grateful for where you are right now and why certain things didn't work out or there is a reconnection of the past coming into the present which brings a lot of happiness into your life Leo so across the board this is beautiful this is positive February is a very good time for Leos, which um, Aquarius and Mo Aquarius um, occupies most of February. That's the opposite uh, of you on the Zodiac wheel. So that makes sense, I guess. Okay, let's uh, pull some advice. Preservation. Reevaluate this battle you are engaged in. A hasty retreat may be in order. Self preservation may be the only thing salvageable. So, this is talking about the past, Leo. And the way I see that more is um, what didn't happen is again, you're going to be like grateful for it. You're going to finally be able to connect all the dots and see how that situation probably wasn't the best for you. And where you are now is good and you're happy and you're satisfied and you're content okay um and for others of you what you feel was lost in the past has been preserved and it's returning into the present because we also have Sirius moving into Aquarius which is all about cycles and what was lost returns okay so Leo for many of you there is this uh, return of the past but how it plays out for you is different okay some of you it's like a reconnection um, or the timing is good or you finally get that deep healing within and on top of that there's this positive um, abundance coming your way that's owed to you karmically. It belongs to you, whether it's money, um, resources, happiness, praise, you know, it, it's different for all of you, but it's coming and you've earned it through this judgment card right here. And things that were heavy of the past, now finally you're going to be in a good, good, good place about that. Okay, Leo? So those are your messages. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.